Just going to do question 5 and 6. Question 5. A two-year certificate of deposit pays an annual percentage yield of 2.15% for investments in the range, in this range. Okay, 10,000 to almost 100,000. If you purchase a two-year CD for $75,000, how much interest will you receive at maturity? So, press pause and try that, if you like. Hope you've pressed pause and tried it anyway. I'm going to try to explain it uh, for those who are might be confused. So APY is annual, means each year, okay? Percentage yield, which exactly means the exact amount of money you will actually get at the end of the year. So just to break it down completely, you're going to invest $75,000 and at the end of the first year you'll get the 70 and, and 75,000 plus 2.15 percent of 75,000 okay and of course 2.15 percent as a decimal is 2.15 per hundred or 0 0.0215 okay so the annual percentage yield is in fact that I mean you you can multiply it by uh, so so t times uh, seventy five thousand times one plus zero point zero two one five will give us you know it's seventy five thousand plus the interest of it right and so that's after one year right let's do that for fun one point zero two one five and we get seven six six one two point five. Or, in other words, after the first year, you have $76,612.50. But, of course, you're not going to withdraw that after the first year because it's a certificate of deposit. You're kind of planning to leave it there, right? So, then you invest that. That gets invested again for the second year. And, again, it earns interest uh, of the annual percentage yield. That, that exact interest. So you um, times that by 1.0215 and we get 78,259 uh, and to the nearest cent. Have we got that to the nearest cent? 78,259.67 cents. Okay. Now of course if we wanted to we could have just used the compound interest formula, right? Where we're investing uh, 75,000 and the interest rate is 2.15 percent so multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.0215 and that's investing it for one year right compound it once but we're going to compound it twice at the end of the first year and at the end of the second year so 75,000 times that squared should give us the same answer Seven eight uh, two five nine point six seven. Yeah, so that's the same answer, right? So press pause and do question six. Hopefully, you'll definitely know this one. I hope. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. This is a five-year certificate of deposit. This is the annual percentage yield, which is two point eight five over one hundred, which is zero point zero two eight five. I hope you got. You're going to invest $150,000 for two, five years. Sorry, five years. We're going to six. So after the first year, it's it's 150,000 times one plus 0 0.0285. After the second year, this would be squared. After the third year, cubed. After the fourth year, to the power of four, and after the fifth year, to the power of five. So for investing it for five years, the interest is compounded five times. The APY, of course, will always be compounded just at the end of each year because the annual percentage yield gives you your um, exact amount at the end of the year, right? It's not APR. It's the APY is, is just compounded every year. So plug that into a calculator. And you can just go 1.0285. Oh, and it's not squared, my mistake. It's to the power of 5, right? So, if you put it to the power of 5, 